out on Lake Lanier today and you know it's, it's moving in perfect fall weather um, every other day I mean it's gonna be cold it's gonna be hot the fish are doing some weird stuff you know um, some of the fish are gonna, gonna be going out shallow up shallow and some of the fish are gonna be out deep um, and you just gotta tone in on what those fish are doing and sometimes they're gonna be really finicky so what I'm doing today is I'm actually fishing some docks some trees some lay downs with a jig to get a pretty good finesse bite you know fishing these trees is like fishing the docks you got to break it down they're not always going to be positioned you know on the side all the way up on the bank where the tree's laying down in or on the end of the tree so um most of the time you just got to figure that out like right now here's a tree right here i'm casting on the side of it you know they might be on the side of it but sometimes they might be dead on it or they might be all the way on the bank you just never know you know sometimes i drag my jig sometimes i hop my jig um sometimes i'm stroking it you know but Well, what you guys just witnessed is a great learning lesson not only for me but now I can explain what happened the fish broke me off I'm sitting here flipping and skipping trees docks for a few hours you know it's very important to retie it's very crucial especially in a tournament situation you have to retie and obviously I mean that got me right there I just lost a pretty good fish on a tree so let's go ahead and retie and I can show you what bait I'm throwing in my trailer. So the jig I'm using is a 3 16 ounce Chattahoochee jig. Um, it's just a standard old jig. It's not, not a football head, just an arc head. Arc head. Um, and the trailer that I'm using is a Strike King Rage Crawl. And this one, some of them, hold on. This one right here has a little bit of chartreuse on it. And um, watermelon, a little bit of flake. Really great color. And this is for Lanier, guys. If you guys are fishing dirty water, um, of course you're not going to be throwing something like this. You're most likely going to be throwing like a black um, June bug, black and blue. Um, but I'm just going to bite a little bit of that off. <laughs> there we go. It's a great little bait. Perfect for skipping. Catches a lot of good spots on the near. So the knot that I'm using is a uni knot. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be tying polymer knots and that's just pretty much what 90% of people that bass fish, that's pretty much what they tie is a polymer knot. Um, but the uni knot, I really like it. I was always tying the polymer knot and the uni knot I, I ended up liking so much better. I feel like it's much tougher. And um, it's really reliable, and it, and it hasn't really let me down too many times. Um, so, what I want to do is you're going to go through, you're going to have your bait like this. You're going to put the line on your hand, like this. Wrap your tag end around your hand. Hold it open like this, you're going to have a little loop, and you're going to want to loop this around about five times. Pull it, pull both, or you just pull pull the tag in. You're gonna want to wet it, of course. And cinch it down. And that's the uni knot, guys. It's it's one of the best knots in my opinion. You can always tie a polymer knot, but I, I feel as if the uni knot is definitely the best knot out there. Just got done fishing some lay down, so we're moving on to docks. And a big key tip that I really like on docks, which much people don't think about it, you know, many people don't fish in front of the dock you know what I mean by in front of the dock is just out from it so I'm, I'm pretty far out from the dock and you know those fish like like I said they can be staged anywhere on that dock they can be behind the dock if they're closer to the bank it's all depending on the weather if the sun's out is it cloudy it all depends on the weather conditions um, and that's just a big key to catching some fish sometimes because they may be off in a little bit of deeper water. Now moving in on the dock, big another big tip is to not, you don't want to blow it out. What I mean by blowing out is you, you want to make sure your trolling motor is pretty low. You don't want to have it super high and you don't want to be pushing water up in there because those, those fish will know. I know that sounds kind of weird but the fish will know. Um, so in another 
some more tips about it is you're, you're gonna wanna get, like that was just a general cast, you're gonna wanna get in those spots where most people are. You know, you're gonna wanna be in the back of it. Um, this one's not the best prime example of one because there's not too many places to get into, but the corners of the docks are really great. Um, behind the docks really great. I um, love fishing behind the docks. I can't tell you how many times we've caught fish under the steps of the back of the dock, you know, when those fish are up more shallow. Um, like I said, all depending on the weather conditions. So um, they can be pretty much on the back, but just be sure to hit the corners. If there's ladders, hit the ladders, hit the stuff that's gonna stand out. That's the biggest tip to dock fishing. You know, many docks, pretty much all of them are gonna have cables and it's gonna prohibit you from casting all the way up in it. But a good thing is just to pull up, up pull right up to them and so you can fish behind the docks and most people once they see that you know they're not they're not going to want to fish it they're not going to want to pull up to it so that's just going to give you a better chance that there's going to be a fish back there um, not as much people have fished it um, there's going to be a lot of stuff like the steps in this walkway i just skipped right up under that walkway um it also has the floats on it that the fish can hide on and it's just the key structure this dock is also metal you know, there's wood docks, there's metal docks, there's all kinds of docks. And it all I know it sounds really crazy to think that in depth about dock fishing, but once you figure out a pattern, that's gonna be your success in the tournament. Um, say they're on the back of docks, you're gonna wanna duplicate that. And say the sun's facing one way, you're gonna wanna duplicate that. You gotta pay attention to those key factors and figure out what docks a fish. Cause lakes like Lake Lanier and Hartwell, there's so many different docks. I mean, there's thousands of docks all over the lake and, and every dock's not the same. Every dock's different. And so you're just gonna have to key in on what they're doing that day. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. But to end this off, big special thanks to you guys. I really appreciate you guys coming to this video and watching it. And I hope you got a few tips out of it um, on how to fish a jig on some laydowns, some docks, um, skipping a jig up under there. I hope you guys just got a few more tips that you guys didn't know before watching this video. So if you guys could, if you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button and please like this video. And also, I would like you guys to comment below what kind of tip videos you wanna see. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. So if you like this video, please do so. Thank you guys for watching.